My name is Michael Cione. I'm the Senior Director of Innovation at Frame.io. And uh, we are really excited here to talk about Camera to Cloud and specifically about how to make it work with smartphones. Today we're going to talk a little bit about this really cool product called Filmic Pro. Filmic Pro is an application that you can buy to put on your Android or iOS. Uh, in order to go over some of the uh, subjects here and give us a demo, I want to introduce uh, my partner Kaylee. Kaylee, we welcome Kaylee to the stage, please. Hey, everyone. Thanks, Michael. Um, my name's Kaylee Zipkin. I work at Frame.io. And we're talking about Filmic Pro today. So a little fun fact about Filmic Pro, it is actually the most popular paid camera app on both the Apple and Google Play app stores because Filmic Pro gives mobile cinematographers complete manual control of their camera phones. And it now includes professional cinematic features, which we love. But if you really think about it and, and take a beat, this means that smartphones are, are really changing the vocabulary around filmmaking today. It's easy to take your camera phone, point, shoot, take a video, right? But it's just simply a pain to get that footage off your phone, right? But this is where, where we come in. So Frame.io's Camera to Cloud is now built in Filmic, which is going to connect all of you to the cloud and the entire Adobe ecosystem completely in the background. So with that, we're actually going to show you exactly how that works. All right, so what I'm going to do is log into Frame.io. So I'm going to click this little gear. I'm going to click Frame.io, and I'm going to log in. Super simple. So Filmic is going to ask you know, a few basic questions, right? Basically, they're just saying, do you give us permission to connect Filmic Pro to your Frame.io account, right? You'll read through that, and you'll allow it, and then it's going to bring you right back here. Once we pick the account and the project that we want to upload our assets into, we are actually going to go back, and we'll go to resolution. So you can see here that Filmic Pro actually gives you a couple of pretty great options in terms of the resolution you want. But we like to go big or go home here, so we'll do 4K. And then, remember when I said manual control, professional cinematic features? I'm going to show you what we mean by that. So if I click this little guy here, you'll see this is the type of control that you have, right? So you can come in here, you can do what you wish with it, and we're good. So coming back to Frame.io, we have a couple of more options that we need to pick. So we're going to do 1080p low quality for our peroxy quality. And then for our upload method, auto means the second I stop shooting, that's going to go right into Frame.io. Prompt means it's going to prompt you and say, do you want me to add this? We'll do auto. And then cell data usage. Do you want to use Wi-Fi? Keep this off. Do you want to use your cell data? You just toggle it on. But we're on Wi-Fi right now, and we'll keep that off. So from here, we're going to start filming, and we're going to show you actually what's going to happen in, uh, in Frame.io. So All right, smile. As Kaylee starts shooting takes in uh, Filmic Pro, she's going to get the prompt to upload that file. And we're going to see right here in Filmic PV, it is automatically taking those assets. And we're going to see the assets populating instantly into Premiere Pro so that as you're rolling, the editor gets every single shot after each one. And then I can start looking at these takes, and we have the ability to start importing these takes, downloading them, and we can look at them right from within Premiere Pro. Frame.io is now built inside Premiere Pro. So if you are an Adobe Creative Cloud user, you have a free Frame.io account with that. When you log in with your Adobe credentials, those same credentials now work in Filmic Pro to connect your Adobe account into your Frame.io account. So it's one password and one user. That's good, right? You don't want more usernames and passwords. We already have too many. And I can see all these assets coming in that she shot. Well, I don't want to just show these assets through Filmic Pro. 
we want to also let you collaborate. Frame.io is the world's greatest collaboration platform. We're not just a conduit to move assets. We connect creators with their collaborators, the actual creative behind it with all the collaborators involved. And I can even go into comment mode and I can browse through this. So that way, when a comment is made on an asset by anyone, it's time code stamped to the asset itself. So that you don't have to describe something in an email or a text message. You're actually making a comment on the asset. So no one can get confused what you're referencing because it is part of the asset itself. All of this is also available inside Frame.io. We can see in the web browser, I have the same access to all the comments that were made. So within Filmic, uh, you actually have the ability to really easily change the Frame.io project and workspace that you want your assets to actually load into because you know, we're likely all not working on just one project at a time, right? So all you have to do is click and you can pick either change account or change project, right? So if I click that, I can go to scouts and then when I start shooting, that's now going to go into the scouts project of Frame.io. If we look back at Frame.io, Every single device that we've been connected to is driving its own folder. It automatically separates the devices from each other. If I look at this button here called C2C Connections, all of these green lights represent devices that are connected to just this project. The gray lights represent devices that are not connected to the internet right now, but once they come online, they can go to the project. So I can control these devices, I can even pause them, set expiration dates, or even delete them. So you have control of this at the studio level, and you can control what is actually happening at the device level. So it's really powerful to be able to have that security control from the user level altogether. It's an exciting time to be thinking about how we can go to the cloud iPhones and Androids are a great tool for a lot of news and sports, documentary, nonfiction. This is a great resource for people to be able to capture and send right to the cloud. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us today. We thank appreciate you, that. We'll see you soon.